All righty, so we have a viewer question here. It says, Hi, Robbie. I enjoyed the show, but I wish you had some more time for viewers from Germany. We got all the time in the world. Here we go. Germany, all right, it's all about you. Or the one that has to go working in four hours. Oh. So this is the second time live with your show, and it's, as you say, awesome. Of course, Great. let me thank you and your team for your dedication to Linux and the people out there. You really move something in the right direction. Now, my question that I have fits perfectly to the motto of the tonight. I need a solution for a bash script that checks a folder for the latest, say, 10 files and deletes all files that are older. If there are 15 files, for example, hmm. then the five oldest should be deleted. I have seen some examples with the sed command, but that didn't work for me, and I didn't understand much of it. Can you do some magic out of your mind with the more or less simple solution? I need this for a backup solution that is realized with a cron job who regularly creates a tar archive on a daily basis that contains the date and the file name. There you go. And uh, So I would say base it on the date would probably be the easiest way to do it, right? I don't know if I can think up with my magical mind anything because the Vegemite has completely messed me up. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I like through the show, I'm like, I'm coughing a little bit and like kind of, it's still there. Drama queen. I, I know. had it too. And didn't I didn't you love it. It was amazing. <laughs> Go out, buy some, have a spoon. Or just, you know, we'll, we'll mail it to you. <laughs> All right, so, uh, well, I'll bring up Bosch here, uh, the Linux terminal. There we go. Watch this. Okay, we were talking about moving things, moving our cube. Control-Alt-Shift, right arrow, moves a window between desktops. So in this case, I wanted to move that over here so that it's nice and clean desktop. Okay, so uh, I've got a folder on my desktop here with some various files. You'll notice that with these three images that they are from different dates. I've got one from July 30th, one from September 18th, and one from April 9th. So they're nicely spaced out and your backup is gonna do really, really well using time, using a date in order to determine when to delete it. So let's take a different approach than what you're saying. You're saying let's, let's knock off the last 10 files. Well, instead, why don't we say, well, let's purge files that are older than 10 days because in that case we know we've got 10 days worth of backups because this is happening on a daily basis so in that case let's jump into my folder and you see there are my files okay and so what I can do is I, I'm gonna do a quick find and find is a great tool. Uh, I'm in the local directory, so I'm going to put a point, which is current folder, is where I'm going to search, but uh, you could put that anywhere. You can go home slash Robbie slash whatever. You can use wildcards. You can use anything at all. So I'm just going to find anything in the current folder, and I'm going to say, let's match it to how many days? M time, five days. So anything that is, pardon me, I need to go plus five days, obviously. Um, Anything that is older than five days is going to be shown. There you go. So now let's say, okay, well, anything that's older than 10 days, still three, they're all older than 10 days. Let's say 50 days. Only two of them. One of them is within 50 days old. So these are older files than maybe what you'll be working with. Let's say 100 days. There's one file that is older than 100 days. So if I was to say, let's keep everything that is newer than 100 days, but let's discard anything that is over 100 days, we now know find dot, which is the current folder, dash m time plus 100 means anything that is 100 days or older is going to be listed. So there it is, image 2808. So now what do we want to do? We can actually execute a command with find, and we're going to do what? We're going to, of course, go rm space, and then these, uh, I don't know what those are called, the braces, um, those uh, are actually going to say, okay, well, we're going to loop through any output from find and output that to the rm command, and then a slash and a semicolon, and that's going to actually delete any file that is older than 100 days. And you'll see now that I run that command, there is no file that is older than 100 days. And if I bring back up my folder, which did have three files previously, it only has two files. So similarly, we know that there was one file. There will be one file remaining now that is 50 days old. 
because there were two before. Now one of them is already gone because it's older than uh, 100 days. So we can again say, okay, find dot dash m time 50 days dash exec rm braces and then the slash and semicolon and run that. And now if I do an ls dash alh, there's only one file and it is from September 18th. So it's a very new file. So all you need to do is just add that to your script you know, where it is that it's about to execute and you'll be good to go. I think that's probably what you're looking for. Thanks very much for the question. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.